Oh hi everyone, it's Kev here and today is a great day for a ride on the Goldwing it's a Sunday afternoon and what makes today a little bit special is that I have my lovely wife Suzanne with me so she's there on the back so give them a wave Suzanne say hello we've got some cars passing here <laughs> the thing about having a camera on your motorbike is that you've got to keep your wits about you it's very easy to be distracted so one of the things that I uh, keep a bit of an eye on I can turn the camera on and off from where I'm sitting here but I don't always do that uh, if I'm going to turn it on and off I just slow right down or I stop uh, and I certainly don't go turning it on and off and losing my concentration if there's traffic around or I'm in a place where I really need to be concentrating on what I'm doing. So yeah, just keep that in mind for all you camera people out there. It's easy to be distracted looking at your camera and instead of looking at the traffic ahead. Just a little bit of a safety tip there for what it's worth. So here we are, we're just cruising along nicely. One of the things that I really like about this Honda Goldwing is the cruise control. You can set the cruise control at 100 k's and you'll stay within that speed. So I think that's uh, one of the things that I really love about, about this bike. I used to think cruise control on a motorbike was probably a bit of a waste of time. It's great in a car, but I couldn't really see the point in having it on a motorbike. But since I've had the Goldwing, um, it's just, I, I think it's great. I, I'm pleased that it's on here and I use it all the time. And a lot of the new motorcycles, even some of the adventure bikes now have got cruise control on them so uh, yeah I think that's I think that's really good so anyway we're just cruising along at 100 k's the weather this afternoon is a little bit overcast it's not a blazing hot day which in some ways is quite good I was a bit concerned that where we're going today we're going to ride around the mountain today and when you get around the other side of the mountain, sometimes it can be wet and raining around there. It looks fine on this side, but on the other side it can be quite wet. But I think we're pretty right today. So we're going to cruise around the mountain. Might stop at one or two places. Um, take a little bit of different footage. Uh, maybe take some photos and we'll stop somewhere and have an ice cream. So, come along, enjoy the ride, great way to spend a Sunday afternoon, riding the Goldwing with the wife on the back, what more could a man want? So here we are in Stratford, first part of our trip completed. Look at that cheeky person. So Stratford of course is known for its clock here in the middle of town that you can see up here. And also known for its 
Shakespearean heritage, I suppose you could say. And a lot of the roads and streets around here are named after sort of Shakespearean names. So that's Stratford. So we're heading out of Stratford now. We just turned off back there and heading out towards the Open Aki area. And I do have to say the weather's not looking that flash out there. Anyway, we're going round the mountain, rain or shine. Hopefully it won't be too bad. So let's just keep riding, hopefully we don't get wet. So we've just done a couple of little detours, we were on the road that sort of goes around the side of the mountain and in close to the mountain. As you can see out ahead there there's a little bit of rain out there now, we might get a bit wet. So. Uh, yeah, I'm not sure what we're going to do. I think we if we get a sneak around this side here. We should be all right when we get around the other side of it. We can't see the mountain today. It's all clouded over. I don't know what that thing there is. Water tank. So we're back on the, the original road now, we had a couple of little detours there, had to go out of our way a little bit but that's okay. Yeah so the mountains well and truly clouded in today, which is a bit of a shame. I did make a video of the mountain, I accumulated a whole lot of footage and took hundreds of photos around the mountain and I've got a video of the mountain that I made up a little while back, uh, there's a link to that video in the description down below if you haven't already seen that video if you want to get a bit of a perspective of Mount Taranaki, go and have a look at that video, just click on the link down below in the description. So you can see here two or three quick shots that I took, some of the photos that I took were quite good and I was able to put my drone up and fly my drone from some farming some of the farmers around this area here gave me permission to fly my drone over their land so I was able to get some, some very good footage of the mountain. Mount Taranaki is apparently one of the most photographed mountains in New Zealand which I'm not surprised. It's just a standalone mountain on its own in the Taranaki area so if you want to photograph a mountain that's the only mountain you've got to photograph so it's not surprising that it's so popular it often looks 
quite different. You can get all sorts of colours and cloud formations and when it's got the snow on it in the winter of course it's pretty it's pretty scenic. It changes a lot. The appearance of it and the look of it changes all the time. And uh, it's certainly certainly our landmark for us here in Taranaki. So there's a few shots, a few little video clips of the mountain as we just ride along here. That's an interesting looking fella over there in the paddock. G'day mate. There's a bit of wind here, quite breezy around this side of the mountain. One of the things about this little area that we're in here, there's a lot of bridges that we go across, all little streams that are coming down off the mountain. And there's some interesting countryside in here. There's all these little humps in the ground that have popped up, I guess they're volcanic pop-ups that when the mountain was erupting or maybe the big rocks or something that but all through this area here out here to my to our right here there's some pretty interesting landscape and it's like that right down to the sea Oh, this is a bit adventurous. Pretty windy here. So we're just taking it easy. Here comes somebody coming up behind us. He'll be going a bit quicker than what we are, so we'll move over and let him past.
Hey, hey, he's riding a V-Strom. So this is the scenic ride along here, heading back into New Plymouth. Scenic drive along the coast here. And just up ahead we have the famous Pukitutu Rock, which you can climb to the top of. I've never been right to the top, I've been about two thirds of the way up. The last little bit was a bit steep for me. Beautiful piece of coastline along here. So here we are, we're back in town in New Plymouth and we're heading off home. Just drive through the city, head out back to Inglewood, back home. It's been a good a good ride today. The weather hasn't been that fantastic but it's been okay. It was a little bit windy around the other side of the mountain. But um, you know that makes for a makes for a bit of an adventure. So um, this has been a good ride today, and what's made today's ride a little bit special is that my wife Suzanne has been with me, and um, she doesn't always come with me these days, but. We have done a lot together on the bikes. We've been for a, one or two good rides on the Goldwing and we've done the odd overnighter. Um, we rode round for the South Island together on our first V-Strom that we had and we were gone for 14 days and that was really great. A lot of people who know Suzanne find it a little bit hard to believe that she climbs onto the back of a motorbike with me and that she rode around the South Island on the back of a motorbike but uh, she enjoys it and we enjoy it together so that's uh, that's a bit of a plus for me the secret I think well the secret for me in having my wife on the back with me is to make sure when we first started riding that she has a good ride and she feels safe and she feels comfortable uh, not doing anything silly and trying to impress her with my great riding skills so that's important if you want to take your wife on the bike and you're trying to talk her into climbing on the back with you you need to look after her which is what I try to do so yeah, it's been, been a good ride today, it's been great to have her along and we're looking forward to doing a few more adventures together on our bike, especially on this one, on the Honda Goldwing. Anyway, if you've enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up if you like this video and if you haven't subscribed to my channel please do and I'll see you and you'll hear from me again in the next video maybe on the V-Strom next time thanks for watching